Time is crucial when swine flu is suspected. Right now, it takes several days for test results to come back. But UNM and Sandia lab scientists have come up with a device that could instantly detect the virus. News 13's Jim Winchester says that's important for both treatment and prevention. Jim? And Dick, if the new device passes final test trials and gets approval from the FDA, it could revolutionize the practice of medicine. This is the device first developed to deal with the anthrax scares after 9-11. We were able to inject a sample into it and detect whether there was anthrax. In recent years, UNM has modified the device to instantaneously test for viruses such as HIV, hepatitis A and B. Then, earlier this year, along came swine flu. About six or eight months ago, with the outbreak of the 2009 H1N1 flu, we decided we would adapt this for the detection of that flu. With instant detection, hospitals would be able to quickly and efficiently isolate and treat sick patients. Here's how it would work. A medical technician would take a throat or nasal swab from a patient and transfer it onto one of these chips placed inside the device. Instantly, a reading would pop up on the computer indicating the presence of the virus. By all our tests so far, we've been able to very specifically and sensitively uh, detect H1N1. A medical equipment maker is designing a shell for the components, and the device is already under review by the FDA. The current testing methods for viruses now take many hours to a day or more. And so this would uh, dramatically change the way we practice medicine. The device for now is only being developed for hospitals, but down the road it might be something available directly to the public. Estimated cost right now for the device would be in the thousands of dollars. Back to you. Okay, Jim, depending on FDA approval, that testing device could go into production as soon as the next few months.